Hello guys, this video show a very cool technique in ZBrush to get really cool details. But real quick guys, I've got two new courses on Udemy. Ultimate Sci-Fi Soldier and Plasticity Modeling Guide. So guys, Plasticity 1.0 is now out. The program is pretty much at a good state. I like using this program guys, it's really fantastic. It's hands down the best 3D modeling program I've ever used. It's fantastic. And this guide will show you how to create this awesome uh, industrial mech. As for the Sci-Fi Soldier, I've got some really good ZBrush hard service scuba techniques and then a lot of 3ds Max clean topology. So you get the best of both worlds, guys. Really cool hard surface ZBrush techniques and then all the retopology process in the Max. All the Max videos are unsped up and the videos in ZBrush are a little bit sped up. So essentially, guys, the purpose of this one is not to overwhelm you with dozens of hours of content, but just to have really streamlined, just like the best of the best techniques for retopology and sculpting. So guys, check out those courses. Links are in the description. Let's continue. So let's just start with the sphere. All right. Go ahead, open up some of these. You can hold shift to and open up additional menus. All right. So let me just go ahead and use control to select some things here. Right, let me do something. Let me go ahead and turn off Dynamesh and control D twice and let's just delete lower. And so let's create some sort of a cool mask right here. All right, let's go with that. So now I'll just quickly uh, fill that in. All right, and then control and alt to some parts. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with something like that. All right, Control W, and then I like to go ahead and Control Shift D to duplicate that, isolate. Control shift and tap on that to isolate just this part. Then we can go ahead and modify topology and delete hidden. All right, we can go into deformation and we can maybe uh, polish by features, polish by groups a little bit here. All right. So now what I'd like to do is to control shift and we're going to switch to slice curve. And so this is a good way for getting additional poly groups, which is going to be useful when you use zero measure with the keep groups option here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, control shift there, control shift there, control shift there. And feel free to just kind of uh, get different uh, lengths for this. All right, so now what I wanna do is to have all of these surrounding ones have the same poly group. And also let's use select lasso or select rectangle. And let's isolate this. Let's press X beforehand, turn off symmetry and let's delete hidden. All right, let's press control shift and Click on that, control shift empty selection, control W. Now it's a separate poly group right there. All right, so I also want something in between here. So I'm gonna go and switch back to slice curve, but I will go ahead and press control shift and space and activate B radius. So we can have even more little cuts right here. All right, once again, I will just uh, control shift, control shift installation, control shift tab to remove that. All right, control W. All right, so now we have this right here. Now we can use zero measure with the keep groups option. Let's see what uh, two will give us. All right, so sometimes it just takes a little bit of finagling with zero mesh to get a good result. But now that I've got this, I can go into 
edge loop and I can use the pan loops option. I'm gonna turn down the polish and the bevel and let's give ourselves three loops, panel loops. And so that gives us that right there. All right, at this point, I will hold down Control Shift and kind of select that, Control Shift A, which will go to selection into the topology limits. So for example, since this is all the same topology right here, there's obviously different polygroups, groups, but the same, it's all topology connected, which means if you just select that and Control Shift A, it will grow to that. Similarly, if you, for example, select that and then Control Shift A, it will select this piece right here. But this way we can split things up. So we can do that, Control Shift A, and then we can split hidden. Because if we do you know, group split, we're going to split this up in different groups right here. So in order to preserve these groups, we're going to use this method. Turn off solo mode. All right, we can uh, hide the sphere there. All right, at this point, let's give this, for example, a dark gray. Color, fill object, I will select that object. And let's give this, I don't know, maybe a little military green color and fill object. Now, regardless of what color you have here, we're going to get this right here. All right, guys, so I think that's a very cool technique. At this point, I would just go and do a little bit of Z modeler or use alphas or brushes or whatever else you want to do.
Thank you for watching and take care.